In southern Italy, the traditional method for the olive harvest is still practiced on many properties and farms in the area. This entails a large net being placed at the base of the tree and then a long ladder suspended against the tree and climbed. The branches are then hit with a thick stick or pole and the olives then fall into the net below. They are gathered, washed and then taken to the local marketplace for pressing. Several thousand tonnes of olives are likely to be pressed in just a few weeks, ensuring that local folk will have a supply of olive oil for the coming year. And many farms focus purely on exporting olive oil, ensuring that they are exported worldwide. Some of the larger farm holdings use a machine that is backed up against the trunk of the tree. It vibrates and shakes until the olives fall into the waiting net below. Many of the small farms and individual tree owners pair up to yield their olive harvest together. All participants in the group have to allow their trees to grow naturally, with pesticides and herbicides not in evidence or used on the land under any circumstances. In this way, top quality organic extra virgin olive oil can be assured and the golden nectar is then divided equally between the families who have cooperated. Some of the processing plants are only open two months in the year and cater for the farms and surrounding landowners who bring their harvested olives from miles around. The processing plants operate day and night in various shifts which include collaborating the machinery, cleaning, storage and documentation, as well as processing, since most of the plants provide a service for exporting the oil worldwide. The list of workers that are available for next year's season is completed and closed very quickly, as work is hard to come by, and preference is given to those who have worked at the plant previously and have experience as well as knowledge. The olives are brought in by lorry, car or tractor and then stored in large open plastic crates with each owner having his own numbered crate or crates depending on volume of olives. The storage facility needs to be a cool temperature in order for the olives to remain in good condition and not start to over ripen. So two days is the maximum time allowed before processing. The crates of olives are then tipped in turn into the processor, which first washes them and removes any leaves and remaining stalks, and they are then automatically manoeuvred down a ramp along a long conveyor belt in the processor, which in turn grinds them into a pulp whilst removing the stones at the same time. The machinery automatically sorts the stones from the pulp, sending them in different directions. The stones are crushed and compressed into blocks that can be purchased and used for fuel in specially adapted stoves. However, it is not a popular form of heating at the moment since the burning stones admit an unpleasant smell and further technology is needed in order for it to become a viable alternative fuel to wood or gas. Meanwhile, the pulp is sent on its merry way through a large grinder and churned until it's fine enough to seep through the pipes at the final stage of the journey and compressed until the fine golden nectar is seen to spout forth from the mouth of the steel tubes and into the waiting barrels below. The first small cup of olive oil then awaits inspection. It's tested and tasted while the anxious owner awaits the outcome of the verdict. Much handshaking, pats on the back and hugging is usually received, although there are some who shake their heads and wander off downcast, hoping for a better season next year, as it's not the quantity of the olives that are important, but the quality.